Welcome back to Kenny KO Reviews, everyone. Today we are discussing the long-awaited and very interesting YK11. Of course, before the video gets underway, I am not a doctor. Do not do anything without your doctor's supervision. This will all be for informational and educational purposes only. Let me outright say it just at the start of this video, YK11 has to be in my top three all-time favorite SARMs. I'm definitely going to discuss in this video both the benefits and the negatives that come along with it. Also, if you need anything for for your lab rats or for research purposes only the first link in the description down below will be where to do so the initial big draw to yk11 was that it helps inhibit myostatin and the activity by increasing your presence of folostatin in your body as these levels rise it'll basically help keep your myostatin levels in check and for those of you who don't know myostatin prevents you from growing more muscle which is huge because a common thing when people are in bodybuilding or building muscle is you'll hit plateaus where you just physically no matter what you do cannot grow any more muscle to put it in simple terms if you want to grow as much muscle physically possible you want very little myostatin in your body which is why the SARM YK11 is so popular because it has the ability to inhibit that myostatin let's discuss the potential health benefits of YK11 which would be of course increased muscle size as we just talked about on average you'll probably see most people report around 10 to 15 pounds of lean muscle gains in around 8 to 12 weeks along with fat reduction, also healthier and stronger bones. It's been shown that YK11 can help improve your bone strength by binding itself to your androgen receptors. It can also increase your levels of activated PKB, which results in bone growth. I definitely want to make it known YK11 has very little studies or research out there. So the long term effects of what can happen aren't really known. But the side effects that have been noted is obviously testosterone suppression or your natural test. So PCT is most definitely required. I want to make that known if you plan on using YK11 on your lab rat, definitely have a PCT ready. As I stated, the long term risks are basically unknown. So that is a huge draw and I guess side effect behind YK11. Some people report increased aggression. I myself never personally experienced this side effect. And that is where I really believe side effects are so individual based on your genetics. For instance, with steroids, some people experience hair loss, acne, aggression, gyno. Not every single individual is going to experience the same side effects. But that is the big draw to SARMs is you get steroid like results without all the side effects. Another common side effect that I personally myself have experienced as well is joint pain, which is very common among anyone that has tried YK11. And some people have personally experienced some hair loss and mild acne. I want to definitely speak on the hair loss because I have not experienced it. And this is where you heard me touch on genetics playing a huge role. I think if you are prone to male pattern baldness, then there is a chance you might possibly lose some hair with YK11 if ran at a high dose. Let's go ahead and jump into the dosage and cycle length of YK11 for lab rats, which would be on average, most people taking 10 to 15 milligrams per day. I'd say around eight weeks would be the sweet spot to avoid most negative side effects. As with any SARM or anything new to your body, I always recommend not immediately, say for instance with the YK11 jumping to the 10 to 15 milligrams per day, but potentially starting at five milligrams a day and build your way up to the dosage to see how your body really responds. If you're experiencing positive results, increase in muscle mass, drop in body fat, why increase the dose when it's already doing what it should now if your lab rat hits a plateau say at yk11 at five milligrams per day then obviously you know you might want to try 10 milligrams a day or 15 milligrams per day now as i said with sarms or anything that's research chemical based make sure you are getting a source that is third party tested there's so many fake and bunk companies out there that that's where i mentioned the first link in the description down below will be everything that has been third party tested and is what you're paying for so in conclusion basically yk11 may be one one of the strongest compounds around. You're gonna build rapid lean muscle while also dropping fat, while reducing your myostatin levels, resulting in more muscle than your body would ever normally be able to make. Now that all sounds great, but take it with a grain of salt. There are side effects and it does definitely need to be monitored. But just like with anything on the market, if you are responsible and do your research and have everything dialed down, it can all be mitigated. 
As for my lab rat's personal experience with YK11, it has been nothing but positive. I never experienced any type of side effects other than the well-known suppression. Also keep in mind YK11 is prohibited in professional sports and has been banned by WADA, meaning that if you plan on taking YK11 for your lab rat for professional sports, you will get kicked out of competitions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on it. If you have any certain SARMs, compounds, new products out on the market that you'd like me to review leave that in the comments down below if you have any questions comments or concerns about anything my instagram is always open at real kenny ko and i will catch you guys all in the next one peace